Western Park, on the Shropshire Staffordshire border, is one of the best known model aeroplane meetings in the country and is growing in stature every year. This year the event hosts visitors from several countries and with top flyers from throughout the UK. It is a get together not to be missed. I was maybe a little disappointed to see so few members of the Dawn Patrol with their 1914-18 aircraft. With it being the 100th anniversary of that conflict, I thought we might have seen maybe 50 of these machines, but I suppose 14 would have been a fitting figure. I am not criticising, these old machines always impress me, with their one-third scale size and their impressive, what would you say, air within the sky. They are my favourites, that's why I would have liked to see more. The Flying Flea. I'm not going to try and pronounce it in French, because I wouldn't manage it. But I wonder what Mr Bassett would have thought about this one. Brilliant decoration, isn't it? Someone gets 10 out of 10 for that. The event is enhanced by the arrival of full-size machines throughout the day. A glider towing crop sprayer, pits aerobatic machines and an aerobatic glider, plus more perhaps that I didn't see. The park, I believe, was laid out by Capability Brown, that great designer of parks for the big houses. He did a good job, because we are now enjoying it makes a great venue for events like this, the V Festival and the great country fair that they have here. Your wife can go around and have a look around the house and the gardens and all them places, or you go and spend your money round the stalls. The goodies on show, well, get your plastic out, that's the only thing you can say. I'm going to shut up. I went home, loaded every hill more heavily than I should have done. It was a little boat that caught my eye. I might show it you later on. Then there was another one that caught my eye. Friday, I suppose you would say, was a warm-up day. But it was the day I attended. And I enjoyed it. It was a great do. Maybe there wasn't as much flying as on Saturday or Sunday. But you didn't have the vast crowds. You could get round and have a look. And, if I saw correctly, fries on Friday morning were two pounds a bag. Hey, that's not bad for a festival, is it? I feel like Mr Bishop now, wittering on. I understand just how difficult it is for him to keep up all day saying something. It is only for a few minutes I've got to try on here. This is one of the few flying shots that I've put on the Sabre, mainly because I don't have the equipment to catch them. It's a point and shoot job. Now this team had come over from Germany, the legendary fighters. They had been at the D-Day celebrations and had put a show on there. Many of you will remember them at Cosford last year, when they had that great big ball, three big balls of fire, set the place on fire. <laughs> Good deal though, I enjoyed that. I don't know whether they did have the pyrotechnics here, or whether they used the normal pyrotechnics, which didn't generate quite as much f fire as the Cosford ones. Damn good show though. The group are known as the Legendary Fighters, and they had a dozen plus aircraft on the line throughout the weekend. They're also listed as the Ultimate Fighter Group, and they did a very impressive demonstration. A crowing Kaliog, the butcher bird, star of the show, I think without any question, was this B-25, with its Mach-E 250 radials. It was big, it was impressive, and it sounded the part, and it flew the part. 
and the nose art, well, probably blew most of us away. We will now just have a quick look, if we can get it, of that Mocky 250 radio. Lovely, isn't it? We'll leave the flight line for a few minutes and go across to the swap meet. Have a look what Alan Cantwell's got on offer there. Great to see him back. I remember his auctions at the swap meet at Stoke and High Peak. Good old days. Maybe he'll get it back here. Another auction swap meet. Possibly too difficult to run though. But there was some decent stuff, including that boat. I'll tell you what though, it wasn't cheap, it was dear. Not my style though. I like something a little more sedate. But there was plenty of choice. And I was tempted. On more than one occasion. But I should keep quiet about it. And I miss this. A Spitfire arguing with a tree. And you can guess who came off the worst. Another stunning model. That's what in South Cheshire we call something nice if it's stunning. If you was wondering why I use that word. But this Sea Fury, well, fabulous model, isn't it? Folding wings, radial engine, sounds beautiful. What more could I say? And this demonstration, well, Mr. Bishop was wrong about the Pulse Jets. You can hear them each year at the British Nationals. If you ever wondered what that terrible roar in the background was for 10 laps and maybe a couple of cruise laps, it was the speed championships with them things. We will now leave the flight line and make our way to the boating pool. It's not very big, there's lilies in it, but they were managing. Quite impressed with these boats, a little bit more relaxing than aeroplanes, and also at the top of the park, but my legs had given out, was the model car racing section, but worth a visit if you've got young legs. And that brings us to the end of the day, as we return back to the car park. Something was nagging. I had to go back and have a look at this submarine. I didn't get it. I resisted the temptation. But it was very nice. Goodbye.